Hey guys, welcome back. And today I'm gonna to share with you my fall capsule wardrobe. So whenever I make a capsule wardrobe, I mean, this is like my third time making a, or third season making a capsule wardrobe. I like to make a Pinterest board to kind of pull together all my inspiration for the visual vibe of my capsule that season. And uh, things that I noticed from my Pinterest board this time was lots of blacks, camels, uh, still lots of denim because I love myself some denim, a little bit of white, um, but really, really neutral, kind of like that Scandi vibe is was pretty much just all over my fall capsule wardrobe. So this season I didn't go too crazy getting a bunch of new stuff. I might still get like just a few things to kind of fill in just a few gaps to really get that vibe that I'm looking for, like more black, because this is the only black that I have in my capsule and I was really drawn to black this fall. So um, probably might add a little bit more of that, but, and then possibly another pair of black, actual denim, because these are like wax denim. But for the most part, this is the vibe of my fall capsule. I would also love to get like a camel, um, kind of like trench duster, wool type of coat um, for fall, but I just kind of haven't found the right one. But I thought I would show you my fall capsule wardrobe, even though it's like 96% finished. So I'm gonna break this video up into two videos. This first one is going to be like the actual wardrobe portion of my capsule. And then in the second part, I'm gonna share with you all of my fall accessories. So like my shoes, um, maybe some of my favorite coats that I'll be using, bags, and then um, like actual accessory stuff. Just kind of like the key pieces for fall. So look for that video in the next couple of days or if you're already watching this and it's already posted, I will leave the link right there. My fall capsule, the main colors are kind of navies or blues. Those are in every one of my <laughs> wardrobes because they're just, it's a color I love. Um, and then I have whites. Um, I was really into white this summer. So I'm kind of pulling some of that over from summer into my fall capsule. Like I said, I'm kind of getting into black. I'm actually not really somebody who wears a lot of black clothes. So that's kind of why this section is so slim. I need to look for a few more black pieces to add to my capsule, I think. I think just like tops, maybe a denim bottom. Um, I love myself some green because I, I have green eyes and I think that it looks really nice. Um, I especially love kind of this like dark color green like that. And then kind of like an accent color to this capsule is this really beautiful blush tone and mauve type of color. I just love this color so much. I got this skirt um, at the end of summer. So I'm gonna, I love that it's kind of like a faux suede, almost looks a little velvety. So I feel like it'll transition well into fall. And then this is a newer piece. Um, that's just a bit drapier piece. And then this carries over from a, my wardrobe last winter, fall. I feel like I can't have a capsule without some like plaid or what's the other one right here? Flannel type of vibe. And then grays. I love gray. Gray is like one of my favorite neutrals. <laughs> and then I only have a few bottoms. I'm wearing one right now. And then I have a couple pair of jeans, wax in them, and then these two skirts. So now let's take a closer look at my fall capsule wardrobe. My fall capsule is made up of 30 pieces. Let's start off with long sleeves, and I have 12 of them. It's no secret I love stripes. This is a new piece that I picked up. I love how it is a vertical stripe with the horizontal pocket and like horizontal detail where the buttons are. And I really love those um, little ties around the wrist. I think it's really cute. This is a piece I picked up a couple seasons ago. I didn't have it in my summer capsule, but I think it'll work great in my fall capsule. Uh, again, with those really cute bow tie kind of detail on the sleeve that I'm into. Since my Pinterest board was filled with a lot of black for fall, I added this three quarter sleeve um, V-neck kind of wrap look top. And it's just a classic that I think will pair with a lot of things. A really light knit heather gray long sleeve top is a must in any capsule for me. I think they're really versatile and being that it's lightweight, it works in a lot of seasons and can be layered. 
This is easily my favorite piece that I picked up for my spring capsule this year. I love the bell sleeve detail and the like crochet look on the sleeves. It's white so it pairs well with pretty much anything in my wardrobe. I pulled out an old button up denim top that I have. I love the way that denim pairs with black jeans and I find it a great kind of like cardigan stand in you can layer with short sleeves. I pulled this guy out from the very back of my closet. I kind of forgot I had it, but it's just a simple baseball tee, almost kind of a sweater material that I got many, many years ago and still a classic that I like today. Again, with the stripes, I love them. The classic combination of white and navy gives my wardrobe a really cute Parisian vibe that I just, I just love. A fall capsule just wouldn't be complete for me without a flannel type of plaid button up. I actually found this one at the thrift store in the boys section. Yep, one more plaid top. I really like the drape on this material. It kind of has that boyfriend button up plaid vibe and I'm into it. This is a new addition to my wardrobe and I stumbled on it in TJ Maxx, but I didn't realize until after I brought it home and wore it that it's a medium. So I might just need to like tuck it in because it's a little big, but I'm just like in love with the color, again with the bell sleeves and kind of that embroidered detail on the chest. I just, I love this top. I guess I'm having a bell sleeve moment this fall because this is my third bell sleeve top. I got this last fall and it's another just, it's super comfortable. I love the detail and print and yep, those bell sleeves, pretty cute. I like them. Now on to sweaters and I have four of them. I'm really into the athletic vibe of this sweater. It is kind of like a heather gray, but like a cream heather gray detail to it. It's really comfortable and again, will pair with so many things in my wardrobe. I really wanted to add a good chunky knit sweater to my wardrobe. I was into kind of the v-neck look and I found this one. It's in a really dark green color, which I love green because I feel like it brings out my eyes. This is just your classic gray sweater, slightly fitted and super cozy, perfect for fall, layers under jackets really well, and gray is a great neutral that I always have in my wardrobe. I have had this sweater for so many years and I still love it. It's really thick, kind of has that like fisherman sweater vibe, and I really love the eyelet detail throughout the sweater. I have a few short sleeves in my fall capsule, eight to be specific. This is a new addition to my wardrobe. I really am into this top. I love the black and the floral detail in it. I'm also really digging the cape-like cap sleeve on this top. Gingham was a big trend this summer. I picked this top up about mid-summer from Target and I feel like I can still transition this piece into fall. I guess I got a thing for flowy tops this season. This is just a simple white one with a black collar detail that I picked up, I think it was this last spring maybe? I love the buttons in the back too. I have a few simple crew neck t-shirts. This one is in kind of a light green color. I also have a white one and a gray one. Now on the bottoms, I have six. I got a ton of use out of these jeans this summer. They're a nice kind of like mid-wash color. I also have a similar dark wash version of these skinny jeans that for some reason I forgot to film myself wearing, but they're in my capsule. This black wax denim pair of bottoms will work great in my fall wardrobe since my Pinterest board was full of black pants. This pair of girlfriend denim carries over from the summer months. I'd really like to get more of a fall version without any holes or distressing in them and probably a darker wash to fit with my fall wardrobe. 
I love this kind of blush mauve faux suede skirt. I think that it is, well, A, it's super comfortable and I think it's really cute and will pair well with like denim and grays and whites that I have in my wardrobe already. I'm keeping my denim skirt around from summer into the fall because sometimes I think that a chunky knit sweater and a cutoff denim skirt look really cute together in kind of that in-between weather. And then my one dress, I forgot to try this on, but I've had it for years and I love it. It has pockets and a drawstring and it's three quarter length and it's in my favorite dark green color. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my fall capsule. I feel like I'm getting the hang of this. Um, I'm finding that if I just don't pressure myself to like find all the pieces right away uh, when the seasons change, that I'm enjoying the capsule wardrobe process better because I, I don't, I made the mistake rushing into a few things in spring and I just like settled on things just to have a complete wardrobe to not shop in for three months. But now I'm starting to find that I have specific things that I'm looking for and if I find them during the course of fall, great. If I don't, that's all right too. But um, instead of just doing like a no shopping ban, I just have a very specific list of items that I need. So that's a great tip if you're starting capsule wardrobes, they seem really intimidating. You don't necessarily have to do the no shopping for three months, um, unless that's like one of the reasons you're doing a capsule. It can be just as effective doing a capsule wardrobe if you make your capsule, find the few little holes you have, and then see if you can find them at the beginning of the season or throughout the season. And if you don't get one at the end of the season, just make a note and know that you need that for next season. I would love if you subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye. And then look for the um, accessories one, my fall accessories right after this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.